Good morning, sunshine. Welcome back to Hope's Instant Kitchen. Today we are going to do an unboxing video of this instant milk frother. We are going to make something magnificent and espresso ourselves, okay? So I have over here some French vanilla creamer and some milk. We're going to make a cup of coffee and make a little bit of froth to put on top of it. Unfortunately, I'm all out of Nespresso pods, so I don't want to make too much foam so that I don't overflow my mug, but we are going to try it out. So right here on the box, it says that it makes hot or cold foam and heats milk. All right, so that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead, open it up. All right, right here on the top of the box, we have our little instructions. Always good to have instructions. We have cardboard, let's get that out of the way. And this is what we're looking at. All right, so over here, we have our base with a cord right here. Set that aside. Oh, that's it for that side. And here we have our milk frother. So let me get this unwrapped and plugged in. So I've got it all unwrapped and out of the packaging. And what I'm going to do is first clean this out because we don't want to use something that we have not washed. We have a lid and then down in here our little whisking tool that we have to place in the bottom. So let me clean this out and then we will get started. All right, so I have cleaned out the milk frother, the lid, and the little whisking tool. And we're gonna take this little whisking tool, it's got this little loop here, and we're gonna go ahead and place this it's over this piece that's down here in the bottom with the loop facing upwards. Just like that so that your whisk is seated in the bottom all right okay so the functions that we have here are cold foam warm foam warm thick foam or warm no foam we're gonna go ahead and place the frother onto the base okay so you press the start button to turn this on and then you can scroll through the functions so we have the warm foam, warm thick foam, warm no foam, and cold. You'll press start and the machine will start whisking. Press the start cancel button to turn it off. So I'm gonna add in just a touch of vanilla creamer and a little bit of milk and I'm going to go ahead and start this and I'm going to brew a cup of coffee so that I can show you what the foam looks like when it's done. So let me go ahead and make a cup of coffee real quick and I'll be right back with you. All right, so I just used my Instant Pod coffee maker and made an eight ounce cup of coffee. That's the smallest cup that you can make using the K-Cups. So as you can see, we have a little bit of room here in the top of our cup for some foam. All right, so we're gonna get started with making our foam. I'm going to use a little bit of vanilla creamer in here, not too much. And I did not add any coffee to my sugar, I just made it black because I'm going to add this foam and the vanilla creamer gives it some sweetness. So there is our creamer, I'm going to add some milk to that. Okay, so we're going to add in a little bit of milk here. Alright, and because I don't have that much room left in my coffee cup, I'm going to go ahead and place the lid on the frother. And I'm going to use the thick foam function. So we're going to hit the start button. And then we're going to hit the function button. And I've hit the start button again after I've selected my function. And as you can see, it looks like it is whipping it up pretty good. I'm definitely excited to try this because I've only used my milk frother that came in my Keurig K-Cafe up until now. So as you can see, the lid is starting to steam up. 
and we should have some delicious froth here in a moment. Okay, so the instant milk frother did not make any noise. It just kind of stopped frothing, so I'm assuming that that means it's done. Most instant pot products beep when they're done uh, doing whatever they're doing, so let's check it out. That looks wonderful. So that just shows you how much it actually makes. Wow. Well, maybe it just looked like a lot in the picture. Look at that, you guys. That looks delicious. I am actually very impressed so far. First use. Try to get any extra that's in, in the pitcher into my cup. And there we have it, guys. That looks awesome. So again, I bought this frother at Walmart yesterday for $29.99. And I had to go to a couple of Walmarts before I found it. So if you have one, I don't think they are shipping these. I think you have to actually pick up in the store. But I'd say $30. Worth it. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification bell so that you can be notified each time I post a new video. Bye-bye.